Sam O'Reilly for Fight Talk. I'm here today, York Hall, Steve Goodwin's show. Mr. Richie Gray, how are you, sir? Yeah, good. Nice to see you again. Always, mate. What are you doing down here? Uh, I've come to support the boys. Adrian, my mate's got his first title tonight. It's actually quite a good card, so I thought I'd come down anyway. Yeah, good fight. What's happening with yourself, obviously? I'm back. A bit of he's time back. off because of the injuries. He's back. He's back. He's ready to go. He's in the gym. He's running. He's getting fit. And he's ready to rip people's heads off again. So we'll be back soon. September, October 7th, I think. October the 7th, yeah? It's a Friday, MTK show, I think. Unless something different comes out, I think that's where we're going, but... Just, just to do anything different, you know. Obviously, coming back from an injury that affected you, is there any, you know, any alterations you have to make in your training or anything like that to sort of just be smarter? I'm just careful with the hand, like because of it. Obviously, if it comes up again, it's a bad thing. So, just take it easy, make sure it's going all right. And then, when I first went back in the gym, I was in softly just to see how it was gradually building up, but ready to go now. Ready yeah. to go. It hurts faces more than it hurts hands now. Because <laughs> before it was hurting my hand more than it was hurting faces. <laughs> so, are you back sparring yet? Yep. Been back sparring. Sparring. Do you know what? I went back the first couple of weeks, sparring partners didn't turn up for people. It's like my very first day in the gym I was sparring. The first five sessions, four of them I sparred. So it's quality to get straight back in and do it. Yeah, obviously your teammates, um, ID Hills fighting Johnny Cole on the MTK on, was it, 22nd of July? Yeah, um, ID, ID's back. There's quite a few on there, I think. Yeah. Johnny's on there, ID's on there. Chesney's out soon. He's on the 23rd, I think, yeah. on the dub. Yeah, Imran's got a date now, I think. Lou's hopefully be about at the same time as me. So yeah, busy. busy. Do you like that? Do you like being, you know, obviously all going to have fights coming up and being in camp and being a part of their you know their sparring partners and stuff does that does that sort of give you a little bit more to push on and get your own training in this is you off when more people getting pads, but it's nice when everyone's fit and everyone's trying hard because everyone's grafting them. When there's not much going on, you're the only one fighting, obviously. No one else is really pushing, but everyone, everyone's pushing at the minute, everyone's trying to improve, so it's nice, it's a nice momentum in the gym, so yeah. it's always good. Um, are you gonna be commentating again? We know you're now sort of the voice of MTK. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see, I'd like the next one, but I feel like I'm away for that next one, but I quite like it. Listen, I get to sit ringside and talk shit about boxing, <laughs> even though I don't know what I'm talking what, about. What more could you want? <laughs> That's it, yeah, so if it helps, it helps, you know. Ideal world, realistically, October. Are you looking to fight again this year after yeah, that? December. You're going to get October and December yeah. in, yeah? And then next year, you're going to start pushing on for the, I want the belt, area. Maybe a challenge belt in December. Yeah. Listen, we'll see what happens, but that's what I'm trying to push for. Next year, I'll chase up Southern Area titles, maybe light, middle, or middle. We'll see what see what's what at the time. I think I can do both weights. Definitely. Uh, I was very surprised last night uh, by Field and McNess. I actually thought McNess was going to be the man. I, I, he was a top amateur, and I thought he was going to be slick as fuck, but fair play to Byfield, credit where credit's due, and he, he showed up. Listen, you're not the only person. Umar Sadiq had said to me the day before, Sammy McNess is, is a great fighter. He's got this hands down. I think Byfield's just different. He, you know, he's different. People didn't, may not have expected that from him, but slippery, great fight. And slippery, he's slippery. We, we know got, McNess will come again. He had to do so. That's, that's boxing. Listen, crazy things happen in boxing, and you never know, dear. That's it. Mate. Uh, everyone loves an upset, so. They do, they do, but listen, I'm sure he'll come again. Sammy McNess, good fighter. Um, yeah, so it's, it's a lot of exciting fights. It's a great time for boxing, I think, and you're, you're, you know, you're a big part of it now. MTK, it's Richie Gray, goes part hand in hand, doesn't it? Part of the show, <laughs> all that, yeah. Um, Loving it. Picked up a new sponsor as well recently. I was about to say, you sponsors last time, you had to write them down, you forgot them all, I'll probably do it again. <laughs> so, I'm just going to welcome JAC to the team. Joined us recently, Jake, thanks for joining us. Advance, obviously, do loads for me. Alibaba, the Sports Lounge. Value cars, Bassett and Air Tattoo, where are some of that? AP Physio. Unbelievable. What we got? What we got? Who am I missing? I'm sorry if I forget anyone. Value cars, AP Physio, the Sports Lounge, Ali Barbers, Advanced, JAC. I think I've missed a couple out, but they know who they are. I'm sure they'll forgive me. <laughs> you'll see, you'll see them on the t-shirts on fight night anyway. <laughs> That's it. October seventh. Don't forget, October I'll be back. 7th. I'll be back. Be looking on my social media. Things are going to be happening now. I'm back. Richard Gray, thank you very much for talking to Fight Talk.